Hello, my name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, today we're going to be working with a program called the GIMP. Um, this lesson, we're going to create a logo that uh, my class is going to put into a larger project. Uh, this particular video is meant as uh, review material in case you missed this lesson. Um, however, if you're not in my class, you may just pick something up. Um, this is a pretty nice looking logo that we're going to create, and it's not too hard. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. We're going to go File, New, and the dimension that I'm asking for is 500 by 200. And under Advanced Options, I'm going to choose uh, Transparency. That's going to create a palette that looks about like this. The next step is to go to the Paint Bucket tool. You've got your toolbar here. And you should see your tool options under the toolbar. Now, if you don't see your tool options under the toolbar, it may say you can drop uh, dockable dialogs here. All right, you can go to uh, File on the toolbar, and you can choose File, the Dialogs, and then Tool Options, and that's going to bring up your tool options for the various tools. And you can drag that, and you can dock it on the toolbar there. I find that's an easy thing to do. That way, when you select your different tools, you've got your different options. Okay, so we're going to select the paint bucket. We're going to uh, the foreground color right now is black. So we're going to use the foreground color, and we're going to fill the whole selection. And what that does is it creates, um, it just creates one layer that's black. Now I'm under Dialogues, and then Layers to bring up my Layers box here. All right, so the next step is to create a new layer. We're going to grab our Gradient tool, which is right here. And we're going to create a simple gradient. We're going to find the one that's called Deep Sea. Now I'm going to draw a line just about like that to create a nice um, linear gradient. Okay, um, that simple gradient is pretty easy, and so we've got a gradient on top of a, a background. Okay, the next step is we're going to duplicate that layer, so now we've got three layers. One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to come up to the image, and I'm going to choose Layer, Transform, Flip Horizontally and you can see up here on the layer box that the two are now reversed okay if I hide the top layer by clicking the eyeball you can see the layer that's underneath it and they're just opposites of one another okay uh, the next tool we're gonna use is we're gonna make sure that the top layer is selected and we're gonna go to colors and we're gonna select colorize this can be used with photographs um, yeah, to help out in this case uh, we're going to change the hue value it's about 275, we'll say. Saturation 100, and we'll lighten it up just a little bit. So if you go to Color Colorize, you should set your values to look about like that. Okay, And if you do, the uh, top layer is going to turn purple. So you click OK. And now we've got a top layer that's purple, and if I hide the top layer, you can see the bottom layer is still blue. OK, so the next step is under Layers, you've got all these different modes you can choose. The default is Normal, and that's just a layer that sits on top of the other layers, unless you tell it to be transparent, it's not. Uh, if you click on Mode, you just get this range of options. Okay, uh, We're going to go ahead and we're going to select for our top layer, Addition. All right, And that's going to sort of composite the top layer with the ones that are underneath it. Okay, um, We're going to set the opacity of the top layer to 30. All right, so the top layer now has a mode of addition and an opacity of 30. And we're going to set the layer underneath it as well to an opacity of about 30. All right, and what this does is it creates a nice composite blend. Now, I'll show you what it looks like. If we don't have this black background, I'm going to hide the bottom layer. You can see that under the transparency, you've just got a nice light blue and a nice light purple. And it's that black base that, uh, that gives it its... Uh, its opaqueness. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the text tool here. And uh, I'll go ahead and I've got a nice big font. And I'm going to change the color to white just so I can see it for now. And I'm going to type in because our project is about volleyball. We're going to go Kruger. We are the Kruger Falcons. Uh, Kruger Volleyball. I'm going to take it. And I'm going to slide it right in the center like that. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to right click in the layer dialog on the text layer that was just created. And I'm going to select alpha 
to selection. Now what that does is it takes um, the selection tool and it selects any alpha that's on that layer. Alpha, right, is text, okay? So alpha to selection and it's going to select all the text. And if you look at it, you can see that the lines are moving and the text is highlighted. Okay, now that I've highlighted the text, it's basically created a trace outline of the text, I can delete the actual text. And you can see that the highlight still exists. This is a good technique. This works in a lot of different situations. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create a new layer on top. Okay, and I'm going to go to my gradient tool, and this time I'm going to choose full saturation. Okay, it's the rainbow gradient. That's going to help. And I'm just going to draw a line that goes right across um, the selection. All right, and it's going to create rainbow text. Okay, uh, we'll work with that in a second, but first we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to do something similar. This time on the layer above it, we're going to select the paint bucket tool, and the foreground color is now white, which is what we want. And we're going to fill the selection on the layer above the rainbow one, all right, so that it's white. Then we're going to create a third one, all right, and we're going to fill this layer in with black, just like that. All right, so now I've got three text layers. The top text layer is black. The layer underneath it is white, and the layer underneath it is rainbow, okay? But right now, we can only see the black layer. So I'm going to hide the top two layers, and I'm going to work with this rainbow layer. Now, it's important right now you do select none. We need to get rid of that selection, those selection lines, so we just see our rainbow text, okay? Uh, we're going to go to, let's go ahead and select all, all right? And we're going to select that entire layer, make sure that the rainbow layer is selected right now. And I'm going to go to Filters, Blur, and I'm going to choose Gaussian Blur. hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, okay, so under uh, Horizontal and Vertical, let's go ahead and change that. Eh, 12 is a little too much. Let's make it 10. Okay, and you can see the preview up here at the top with the blur. It shows you what that's going to look like. I'll click OK, and it's going to blur the rainbow. Okay, now I'm going to come up here to the second layer. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go Filter, Blur. I'm going to choose the Gaussian Blur. This time, we're not going to blur it as much. The value for this on the white layer, 5. Okay, and now it's starting to look like this. Now, on the top layer, we're not going to blur it. Okay, I'm now going to show the top layer. We've got black here. Where it says Layers, all right, I'm going to change the mode of this layer to Overlay. Okay, and what you get is this text right here that you can see you've got the black outlines with the white and then the, the rainbow is sort of uh, glowing out around it. Okay, so we're going to do one more thing. I installed a brush, and in my computer lab, this brush is available on all the machines. But if we go to the brushes dialog, installing brushes in the GIMP is a snap. Okay, you can go to websites, you can download the brush file, you place it in the right folder, you open up the GIMP, and you've got the brush. Well, this brush is called the line brush. Okay, and it looks like, um, let's see if I can zoom in on this. Uh, it looks like this, uh, well, I'll, I'll select it and I'll zoom in. It looks like a squiggly line. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that the color that we're working with is white. Okay, and I'm going to create a new layer for this brush. All right, and you can see that this line brush here just creates these squiggly lines. Okay, they're uh, wavy lines, and I just have to click once. So I'm going to put where I want it, we'll say right about, yeah, right about like that, just, just for argument. Boom. Okay. All right, and now I've got these lines. Now, it's still, it's overlaying, uh, it's still, it's like on top of the logo, and it's, it's, it, we really want it to look like it's behind the logo. So we're going to go up to mode, and we're going to change this to overlay. All right, and that adds the transparency that we want to these lines, and now you've got a logo with these wavy lines and this nice composite gradient in the background. It looks fairly nice. We'll be able to uh, take that and place it into our primary project. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. My email is uh, jbeck at neisd.net. Thank you for watching and uh, look for more tutorials.